Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this episode, we are going to start a new project. We're going to build a Chesapeake 18 from Chesapeake Lightcraft. And uh, some of you may remember that some years ago we did the double duck. Uh, and in that case, we didn't buy the kit. We just bought the plans and had to fabricate all of our own parts. Uh, that worked out very well, but in this particular case, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Uh, I have a friend that is going to participate in the Missouri River race, the MR340, which runs from Cobb Point in Kansas City all the way to St. Louis. And so he has asked me to build him uh, a racing kayak. Uh, after talking to Nick Shada and some p other people, uh, we decided that the Chesapeake 18 would probably be our best uh, uh, best bet for uh, satisfying the demanding requirements that this this race uh, poses. Uh, it's, uh, it's 340 miles. It's very significant. And in some respects, it's kind of a tortoise and the hare thing. Um, but uh, with an 18 foot long hull, this boat should uh, destroy most of the other plastic that will be floating down the river. Um, we are really multitasking right now too. Um, the, uh, the Haven, the work on the Haven continues. You can see it in the background. Uh, we've been working on the center board. It is just about ready to go in. Uh, still working on the canoe, the 17 foot freedom. And it is, we haven't done any video on that because all I've been doing is sanding, which is completely boring. And uh, so anyway, then you can see the kit is open here for the Chesapeake. And this video is going to concentrate mostly on getting started with that. So uh, anyway, hopefully there's a little bit for everybody. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, please consider subscribing. And if you're coming back, we're glad you're here. And so uh, anyway, we'll jump in and, and see how we get started with this Chesapeake 18. What have we got today? Fresh in from Chesapeake Lightcraft. Wood parts kit only, Chesapeake 18. Open this up and see what we got. It's like Christmas. You get a whole book. And a DVD. Wow, it's all Okumi. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's the shear clamps. I bet. These are all cut, and uh, they got the little puzzle pieces to uh, put the, it's foolproof, to put all your pieces together. So this is about 8 foot long, and of course it's an 18 foot boat, so in an 18 foot boat we're going to have several pieces that we have to scarf together. But... Uh, Wow, this is going to be great. So we've torn into the Chesapeake 18 kit from Chesapeake Lightcraft. And uh, all, these, all these pieces will eventually go together to make a very nice 18 foot long kayak. We did the shear clamps last night. That was the first thing that we scarfed together. They are over 18 feet long, so they are on that shelf. Um, it's been 24 hours since we put the epoxy in the scarfs, uh, but I'm just gonna let those rest before I even try to clean them up. 
And in the meantime, we've got side panels laid out here on this bench. And you can see these puzzle pieces. It's kind of foolproof. You just put these puzzle pieces together and make your sides. And so as we can see, this bench is 18 feet long. We're gonna be all of that to get these puzzle pieces together. And I've got some wax paper down on the bench underneath these. And we're just gonna make a little bit of thickened epoxy. We're gonna use this total boat, high performance. And uh, makes a little um, silica in it. Where's my total boat silica? Hiding down here. There we go. We're gonna need this. So we'll mix it up, thicken it up a little bit. One of the things I noticed with these, and I've cleaned them up, um, the CNC machine cuts these out, but there were still a bunch of little rough edges. You can kind of see some of the leftover stuff. And I just took a piece of 220 fine sandpaper and cleaned them up so the puzzle pieces would go together nicely. Um, I mean, you can kind of see right there, it's still a little bit rough. That'll just give the epoxy something to grab onto, but I wanted them to go together without breaking off a tab or something. I, I had, wish I hadn't even thought of that. <laughs> that would be a disaster. So uh, anyway, once we get them together, then these will be the side panels. And like I said, 18 feet, so. All right, we'll take another picture once we get them glued up. I'm wearing a mask because these little beads, they want to fly all over the place with silica. Now the, the plans say to make this a mustard consistency. That's probably about like mustard. I think that's going to be okay. All right, I think I'm going to start down here. Um, let's make sure that's mixed up good. I've got about three ounces, maybe two and a half to three ounces. Well, no, it's probably closer to two. It was three pumps each of the resin and the hardener, and then a couple of little paddles full of thickener. I think that's going to be good enough. These puzzle pieces take all of the guesswork out of it. It'll be perfectly aligned. Kind of using a brush and just kind of cramming it down in those cracks and those puzzle pieces.
nice having gloves on. I just kind of mash it in there. That's it. I'll put some more wax paper on the top of this and a little bit of weight on there, maybe kind of heavy piece of wood or something. But uh, it went together really well. And they went together really well and I don't really think, uh, I don't really think we're gonna have any issues with, with it not to, uh, gluing up. It looks like it's fine. It's so easy. When I did the double duck kayak, uh, we bought our own plywood and we scarfed the joints and, and uh, had to glue them all together, you know, with no, no kit. Um, this is foolproof. It's so easy. We're going to be stitching everything together in no time. All right. See you next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.